The Valle dei Templi, Italian pronunciation, Valle dei Templi, English, Valley of the Temples, Sicilian, Vadi di Li Tempri, is an archaeological site in Agrigento, ancient Greek Acragas, Sicily. It is one of the most outstanding examples of Greater Greece art and architecture, and is one of the main attractions of Sicily as well as a national monument of Italy. The area was included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site list in 1997. Much of the excavation and restoration of the temples was due to the efforts of archaeologist Domenico Antonio Lo Faso Pietrasanta (1783–1863), who was the Duke of Saradifalco from 1809 through 1812. The archaeological and landscape park of the Valley of the Temples is the largest archaeological site in the world with 1,300 hectares. The term "valley" is a misnomer; the site being located on a ridge outside the town of Agrigento. Overview The valley includes remains of seven temples, all in Doric style. The ascription of the names, apart from that of the Olympian, are a mere tradition established in Renaissance times. The temples are Temple of Concordia, whose name comes from a Latin inscription found nearby, and which was built in the 5th century BC. Turned into a church in the 6th century AD, it is now one of the best preserved in the valley. Temple of Juno, also built in the 5th century BC. It was burnt in 406 BC by the Carthaginians. Temple of Heracles, who was one of the most venerated deities in the ancient Acragas. It is the most ancient in the valley, destroyed by an earthquake, it consists today of only eight columns. Temple of Olympian Zeus, built in 480 BC to celebrate the city-state's victory over Carthage. It is characterized by the use of large-scale atlases. Temple of Castor and Pollux. Despite its remains including only four columns, it is now the symbol of modern Agrigento. Temple of Vulcan, also dating from the 5th century BC. It is thought to have been one of the most imposing constructions in the valley, it is now however one of the most eroded. Temple of Asclepius, located far from the ancient town's walls, it was the goal of pilgrims seeking cures for illness. The valley is also home to the so-called Tomb of Theron, a large tough monument of pyramidal shape. Scholars suppose it was built to commemorate the Romans killed in the Second Punic War. Temple of Concordia Due to its good state of preservation, the Temple of Concordia is ranked amongst the most notable edifices of the Greek civilization existing today. Notably the UNESCO symbol alludes to this temple's six-column facade. It has a peristatus of 6 by 13 columns built over a basement of 39.44 by 16.91 meters. Each Doric column has 20 grooves and a slight entasis, and is surmounted by an architrave with triglyphs and metapiece. Also perfectly preserved are the tympani. The cella, preceded by a pronaeus, is accessed by a single step. Also existing are the pylons with the stairs which allowed to reach the roof and, over the cella's walls and in the blocks of the peristasis entablature, the holes for the wooden beam of the ceiling. The exterior and the interior of the temple were covered by polychrome stucco. The upper frame had gutters with lion-like protomes, while the roof was covered by marble tiles. When the temple was turned into a church the entrance was moved to the rear, and the rear wall of the cella was destroyed. The spaces between the columns were closed, while twelve arched openings were created in the cella, in order to obtain a structure with one nave and two aisles. The pagan altar was destroyed and sacristies were carved out in the eastern corners. The sepulchres visible inside and outside the temple date to the High Middle Age. Temple of Juno Licinia This temple was constructed on a mostly artificial spur. It dates to c. 450 BC, measuring 38.15 by 16.90 meters. It is in Doric style, periteros six columns wide by 13 long, preceded by a pronaeus and epistodomos. The basement has four steps. Current remains, including anastolosis from the 18th century onwards, consist of the front colonnade with parts of the architrave and of the frieze. Only fragments of the other three sides survive, with few elements of the cella. 
The building was damaged in the fire of 406 BC and restored in Roman times, with the substitution of marble tiles with ones of clay, and the addition of a steep rise in the area where today can be seen the remains of the altar. Nearby are Arcasolia and other sepultures from Byzantine times, belonging to the late 6th century AD renovation of the Temple of Concordia into a Christian church. Temple of Asclepius the Temple of Asclepius is located in the middle of the San Gregorio Plain. Its identification is based on a mention by Polybius I, 18, 2, who states that the temple was in front of the city, one mile away. However, as the actual distance does not correspond and the size of the building is relatively small, scholars remain dubious about this attribution. The small temple, probably dating to the late 5th century BC and measuring 21.7 by 10.7 meters, rises over a basement with three steps. Its peculiarity is the fake opisthodomus with two semi-columns in the external side of the rear cella. Also extant are parts of the entablature, with lion-like protomes, a frieze and a geyson pediment. The sanctuary housed a bronze statue of Apollo by Myron, a gift to the city by Scipio, which was stolen by bears. Temple of Heracles The traditional name of this temple comes from another mention by Cicero about a temple dedicated to the classical hero, not far from the Forum. However, it has never been proven the latter, the Agora of the Greek city, was located in this point. Stylistically, the temple belongs to the last years of the 6th century BC. It has been also suggested that this temple was one of the first built under Theron. Also the entablature, of which parts have been found, would date it to the 470-460s or the middle 5th century BC, though the more recent remains could be a replacement of the older ones. One hypothesis is that the temple was begun before the Battle of Himera, to be completed only in the following decades. Polyenus mentions a temple of Athena being built under Theron outside the city, which could be identified with that of Hercules, though also with a new one in the inner Acropolis. The building, with 20th century anastolosis, measures 67 by 25.34 meters, with a peristae of 6 by 15 Doric columns and a cella with Proneus and Opisthodamus, is located over a three-step basement. It is the first example, later become common in the Agrigento temples, of pylons inserted between the Proneus and Cella, housing the stair which allowed inspections of the roof. The columns are rather high and have wide capitals. On the eastern side are remains of the large altar. Olympian Field On the other side of the road running through the Golden Gate of the ancient city, is a plain commanded by the huge Olympian Field. This includes a platea with a large temple to Olympian Zeus, plus other areas still under investigation. These include a sanctuary, with remains of a paved square, a complex sachellum, holy enclosure, and a tholos. This, after another gate, is followed by a sanctuary of Thonic deities, an archaic sanctuary, the so-called columbatra, where was a still unknown gate, and the tip of the spur where the sanctuary is located, with the temple of Vulcan. The Olympian complex's main attraction is the huge temple of Olympian Zeus, which was described with enthusiastic words by Diodorus Siculus and mentioned by Polybius. Today it is reduced to ruins due to destruction begun in antiquity and continued through the 18th century, when the temple was used as a quarry for the port of Porto Empedocle. Near the southwestern corner of the temples is a small edifice 12, 45 by 5, 90 meters, with two naves and a deep proneus, a double entrance and what has been identified as an altar. Its dating is controversial, though scholars have assigned it to the Archaic Era, due to the discovery of numerous 6th century BC vases. Also Archaic is another sachellum, which later was replaced by a classical edifice. These are followed by the scant remains of a temple, called Tempio L. Dating to the mid-5th century BC, measuring 41.8 by 20.20 meters, to which, in the 3rd century BC, a Hellenistic entablature was added. Temple of the Dioscuri North of Temple L is the Temple of the Dioscuri, 
Castor and Pollux, the northwest corner of which is in a misleading modern reconstruction from the early 19th century, created using pieces from various other temples. It includes four columns and an entablature. The temple itself measures 31 meters times 13.39 meters, 101.7 feet times 43.9 feet, and would likely have been a Doric peripteral with 6 by 13 columns, dating to about the mid 5th c. BC. Temple of Hephaestus On the other side of the valley is the last spur of the hill, commanded by the remains of the Temple of Hephaestus also called the Temple of Vulcan, although the exact deity to whom it is dedicated is unknown. It is a Doric-style peripteral building measuring 43 meters times 20.85 meters, 141.1 feet times 68.4 feet, mounted on a four-step crepidoma and having six by 13 columns. It dates to around 430 BC. It was built over an archaic sacellum which measures 13.25 meters times 6.50 meters, 43.5 feet times 21.3 feet. Its decoration, dating to CA. 560 to 550 BC, has been recently reconstructed. Other remains On the western side of the city are the remains of gates the 6th and 7th, the first probably lying on the road to Heracles, the second having two towers and two external bastions, one having 15-meter thick walls. Northwards are the remains of gates the 8th and Ix, now surrounded by illegal buildings. At the western tip of the area in which the Temple of Concordia lies, are parts of a late ancient or early medieval necropolis, constructed on existing cisterns. Other tombs and catacombs are visible in the so-called Grote Fragapani, dating to the 4th century AD. These late Roman and Byzantine necropolises lie in an area used for tombs since ancient times. One of these, the so-called Tomb of Theron, is a Nasco sepulchre with square plan. Gate IV is located near the tomb of Theron, probably one of the most important in the city, as it led to the sea. West of the Olympian, are remains of two insulae, residences 38 meters wide, connected by a square to the ancient Gate V. It is likely that they were built reusing structures belonging to the sacred area of the Olympian. Nearby is a sanctuary with an L-shaped portico from the early 5th century BC, which is annexed to Gate V in the area are also two archaic mid-6th century BC temples. On the northern side of Gate V is a large stone square leading to the Sanctuary of the Thonic Gods. The so-called Oratory of Phalaris is in fact a Roman temple, measuring 12.40 by 8.85 meters. See also Architecture of Ancient Greece Greek temple List of Greco-Roman roofs References External links the Valley of the Temples. A Visitor's Guide to the Valley of the Temples Valley of the Temples Photo Gallery Visiting the Valley of the Temples, an exclusive experience walking through the Greek temples. Valley of the Temples at Google Cultural Institute